Hans Jabor, the best shot maker in the world, taking on Iga Fiontech, who's got possibly the best footwork in the game. Iga's footwork is so good, she should be on Dancing with the Stars, and she'd probably win that too. Now, the head-to-head is 4-2 in favor of Iga, but listen, guys, we got some rain, and this match is not going to start on time. The rain looks like it's passing. I don't know who called the shots for getting the tournament here in Cancun, Mexico. But listen, we all know having a tournament on the peninsula is not a good idea, especially in October, November, where it's wet season. And it just doesn't make any sense. I'm not sure what's the motivation or the incentive for doing something like this. I'm sure there's a logical reason, I would hope so, where this location was picked, you know, the who, what, where, and why's, I don't know, but I'm sure it was some type of financial decision that had to be made. And building a, a stadium was probably the feasible economical way to go. But for these players and fans, it's not. And they're suffering. And Coco, last match in her post match victory interview, she just said, look, I want to thank you guys for just putting up for all these rain delays and standing by and cheering me. Congratulations, Coco. But Anz, if she beats Iga in straight sets, she'll advance to the semifinals. I think these rules are completely ridiculous. If you are tied in terms of a record with someone that beat you, then I think how many games you won is completely irrelevant and should have nothing to do with that outcome in making the semifinals. Carolina Pliskova got robbed the last time in Guadalajara, where I felt she was playing the best and she probably would have won the WTA finals, but Garbina would take out Annette Conteve. Now, Anz is such a classy person, guys. The The kid holding the umbrella, Anz is like, no, it's okay. You don't have to hold it. So, again, I support Anz Jabor. Peace on earth. That's what I stand for. I don't want to see anyone injured, especially kids, women, children. That's ridiculous. We need to end all of this conflict. But, look, anyone that's been on earth for a while, you know, the things that there's nothing new under the sun, these types of things have been going on for years. It's the same problems, the same regions, the same countries and the same victims, you know, and I'm I'm sick of it, just like I'm sick of this rain. But the head to head against Iga is 4-2. Iga's won the last three. Uh, she staggered this year, three love before Ans had the ankle injury last year at the U.S. Open. Uh, second set was pretty competitive, not the first. And then uh, I want to say Rome. So Eagles won the last three. On started out winning the first. Uh, did she win the first two? Or she won two of the first three matches. And then Eagles just got so much better in the offseason. That's On's husband slash physical trainer. And, of course, you know, On says she keeps him around for the massages. <laughs> On's is so funny. And uh, that's her coach. So, listen, guys. Ega, amazing player. She's playing good. Uh she looked a little bit sluggish against her first match with Marketa Von Joseva, but she looked really good against Coco and she might be playing the best here. I, I think Iga's, yeah, I mean, I think it's fair to say Iga is playing the best tennis here and I think she's adapted to the conditions the most. I think mentally she's grown leaps and bounds, even going back three to four seasons ago where mentally I don't think she was that strong. Mentally now she's, look, I'll be honest. Iga's probably the mentally toughest player in this tournament right now. She's playing well. Yeah, you know, I just I'm I'm just playing solid. You know, that's my Iga voice. I think Iga's playing really solid and um she's got a good chance to win the first set. And I think Iga won the coin toss. She's gonna be serving first. So Iga's I don't know, she'll probably win it 6-3, 6-2, I don't know, maybe even less. But I think it goes under 10 and a half games. That's the pick. Um we just got to wait the rain out. So it looks like it's just a, an overhead shower, which is going to happen all day long in Cancun. If anyone ever been, you know, to any type of islands, whether it's, you know, the Bahamas, you know, sun showers, rain showers, they happen literally all day, 15 minutes at a time. And, you know, the, the, the clouds, they get cloudy. The rain passes, the sun comes back out. But even at night, you know, you get these showers all through the night and, Thank goodness they're drying the the lines now, but they may even have to bring the blowers out. But stay tuned. Anz is ready. She wants to get it on. She looks focused. So I'm excited to see this match.